Insomnia 2.0. I am the ballroom maestro, and this is the driest show we've ever done. Um, for those of you checking in for the first time, Insomnia is the official round look at Red Solo Cup out. And we would normally be pouring libations right now. Um, I can't seem to find my glass cup or bottle. I don't know who hit them. This ain't funny. I'm about to have some words with somebody because I don't appreciate this. Man can't have a damn drink at 2.30 in the morning. What is the world coming to? How you gonna get over your insomnia if you ain't got nothing? Got some medicine. I'm just saying. Joining us this, this evening for the insomnia interview um, my brother had the opportunity to meet a couple years ago at, at uh, Vegas Jams out in uh, Vegas. Man, his brother named Ricky Rose, smooth as I am black, straight out of DFW, man, coming at you this evening, the one and only Ricky Rose on the Insomnia interview. So stick around, we, uh, we got a great show lined up for you. Let's kick it off, man, let's do some stuff. I'm going to throw a solid gold, old school cut at you, man. A little one hit, one the group called The Natural Four. I mean, they had some other songs, but this is like the only one anybody really knew them about. They call this one, um... Can this be real? This is Insomnia 2.0. I am the ballroom maestro. This is how I do what I do.
professional alcoholic. It's somebody who can run back and find his little corner stash that was hidden away where nobody can find it at. And then he got the nerve to get mad because the damn bottle almost ended. Lord, what is the world coming to? I gotta get by this stove because we can't function like this. You can't call it the brown liquor red solo cup. How are you? It's bad enough Dollar Tree ain't got no red solo cups. And I ain't got no liquor. This is not good. This. Who do I speak to? I don't play like a white woman. May I speak to the manager, please? I don't know. If it tastes this good, I might not complain. I'm just saying. himself ricky rose coming up at you making sure folks if you like what you hear make sure you like and subscribe down below down there or over there or wherever it is just like and subscribe if you got a special cut you want to hear let me know i'll try and get it on for you down in the comment section okay this is um some, some smoothness for you baby smoothness moon child dropping this thing called the list i hate to make me nervous
I gotta. Okay, there we go. Okay. Hey man, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna jump right in on this. And I need. It is my honor to see. See, first off, y'all missed the intro because Ricky, Ricky tried to throw me under the bus. But see, I have seen Ricky <laughs> twice in, in public, and Ricky just denies every time. So I'm like, ain't no way I'm coming on this interview looking half boot, half all boot, and then he got on talking about, oh man, I ain't no use trusting him. Like man. <laughs> <laughs> You don't make me running in, running in to a Superman thing. I'm gonna run through the closet and throw on some, throw on some stuff. But I'm, but I'm good. Ladies and gentlemen, a a song called Bonafide Detroit. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. My man, Mr. Ricky Rose, y'all. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey man, thank you very much for joining me here in the Insomnia interview. Not a problem, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I created the Insomnia interviews. As, a, um, as an outlet for the urban dance community to begin to um, connect with the traditional, ooh, Lord, was that something just jumped out of my mouth? I'm sorry. Um, to connect with the uh, traditional dance community because as a whole right now, we, we're all on the same level. Ain't nobody dancing nowhere. Ain't nobody making no real connections on the dance floor. This brother right here, I, again, I've only seen him a couple, I've only met a couple of times. First off, Game recognized game. Brother is an outstanding dancer um, and instructor. Just just a, fa a fabulous energy on the dance floor. So I got to give it up to you, bro. I got to get, get it up to you on that one. Well, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to say that to your face because, you know, we, we say, people say stuff all the time. I, I, I need to let you know, bro. Steel, sharp, and steel. You, you good with me, okay? That's right. Hey, I, I, I'm always watching your videos, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm going to give you some more to watch. <laughs> what I can borrow and add to my repertoire, you know. I'm always looking to improve my dance. Bro, all that, all that. I told I was always, so looking, today. always looking for those people I, that, uh, you know, set those pace setters, you know. I, 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 I stand on the shoulders of others, so I'm good. Okay, well, we good. We both good. We following each other. Like you said, iron sharp as iron. Yeah, bro, there you go. And I was, I'm, my three I'm going to work on three dances over the next two years. I'll be working on tap, uh, kizomba, and uh, my Latin hustle. Cool. I have, nice. I've been dying to do tap, man. Um, I'm, I'm working out of a new studio, and there are two tap instructors there. Okay. When when this COVID thing is is over, yes, bro, I will be up under them for real. Cause there we go, there we go. I'm just trying to figure out how you're gonna put that tap into your ballroom. <laughs> yeah, I know you'd figure it out. <laughs> All right, brother. All right. Hey, Rose, man. How you been, brother? Um, uh, COVID, COVID done, done, done slap folks around left and right, bro. How you, how you been holding up, man? How's the world going? Hey, uh, you know, I'm hanging in there. I'm just, uh, I put myself on pause until, you know, 2021, 22. I'm, I'm looking more so 22, I think. Mm -hmm. 2021, I, I would love to do something in 2021. I just don't think we've had a participation. I just don't think folks are ready to come out of it yet, you know, uh, with the vaccine and all of that stuff. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. But I, until people feel comfortable being around and being in an environment, you know, especially in an enclosed type of environment, I think uh, it's going to be challenging for anybody to have anything as far as a dance. Outstanding. Um, forgive me, Ricky. My apologies, brother. Yeah. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you all know insomnia is the official Brown liquor, red solo cup hour, and we always pause libations before we get all into the good, good and juicy. <clears throat> <laughs> I ain't, oh. I ain't, I ain't got no red <laughs> cup right now, but I do have some brown liquor, and I got started for you got here, so but I'm gonna tap this up <laughs> just a little bit, pour some out for the bros who couldn't be here today. Well, that'll help. That'll help fix your insomnia. <laughs> it normally do. <laughs> All right, my brother. All you right. are more than welcome to pour your libation as well, Rick. I, I, I'm sorry. I was so excited to get into get into the chat. With no, you, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, okay. my brother. Okay, I, I, that's right. I, I got you have a sip. You have a sip over there for me. I'm gonna have two. Thank you, brother. Okay, one for me, one for you. Hold we on, good. Hold on. Well, that smell kind of loud. Hold on. I gotta let it air. I get some room temperature about this. That's, that's... Okay. All right. All right, my brother. If you would, Ricky, you are the. Are you the founder or the co-sponsor of Ballroom, um, Ballroom Connection? 
I am, uh, as far as the, the ballroom connection, we, we don't even have a foundation yet. Okay. It, was, I, it, it was my first attempt to do something on the scale of a, a, um, um, another huge ballroom type of event. Okay. And I wanted to do something because we don't have anything like it in the, in the southern southwestern area arena. So I wanted Texas to have a, a major ballroom event hosted right here. And since I do a whole lot of promotion and a whole lot of events hosting and those kinds of things here, I kind of took it upon myself. And uh, of course, I reached out to some brothers like you and Bobby Green and, and some other folks to kind of helped me, uh, you know, tie this thing down to try to, to, to get something started here in the, in the greater DFW metropolitan area. So, uh, so if you want to kind of call me the, the founder of it, I would have been if it had gotten off the ground, but COVID took care of that. Cool, 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 cool. Will you be collaborating with uh, any of the uh, the local Dallas folks, uh, John Seegers, Tina, and and, and them folks as well? Well, no, John is more down in Houston, and John oh, is more right. swing, he is, he is. John is more swing out. Okay. Now, uh, my my vision for the 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 ballroom connection was to have Zotico and and swing out and uh, 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 salsa. And uh, um, what's the other one? The new one that folks are doing these days, the African one, the Samba. He's on uh, yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and West Coast. So I was trying to bring a lot of the Southern things like Zotico, you know, mostly from Louisiana and that part of the world. And Swing Out is, is, a, is a stable here in the DFW metropolitan area. And uh, West Coast is world, worldwide, but you know, we've got, we have a nice presence here in the DFW area. And of course, stepping is stepping. Chicago stepping. You know, we've 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 accepted and embraced that here for the last five or six years. Okay. And so it's got it's the second in line from swing out here in the DFW, and then ballroom. Of course, me and myself and Mr. Anthony Ellis and his wife D, we kind of put that thing together in my in my living room here. This used to be DF, this used to be DFW ballroom headquarters right here in my living room in my family room. Every Wednesday night for a year and a half. Yep. It's coming back. So, it's coming back. It's coming back. So we've been pioneering a few things and trying to get some stuff up and running around here. And we hope to continue on that path once we get through this COVID stuff. Outstanding. Outstanding. Ricky, do me a huge favor. I got to take a hot break. I'm going to play a couple of songs to, to cool. get, us, get, get us back into the set. You got a second minute? Can you hang out with me for the second part of the interview? I can give you, I can give you two seconds, brother. I like you, man. I don't care what they say about you, Ricky Rose. I like you, boy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with Ricky Rose's interview just on here on Insomnia. down below and if you got a special request try and hit me up in the comment section i'll try and get it on for you as soon as possible yo uh um, dfw man this one's for y'all <laughs>
I'm in Grand Prairie, which if you if you look at the, the way Dallas is made, Dallas, part of Grand Prairie belongs to Dallas and part of it belongs to Fort Worth, uh, which is it's an excellent thing for the, the, the my for my company name is DFW Live Events. Okay. So it kind of embraces both Fort Worth and Dallas. I do events in Fort Worth and Dallas. Okay. So, you know, I kind of I. I cross the line all the time because I kind of live on the line anyway. Okay. okay. And uh, yeah, so it's Grand Prairie. It's not Dallas, but Dallas and Grand Prairie is they're, they're one in the same, just a different name, Thanks. suburb. Um, I am excited for you and your growth, brother. Um, needless to say, anything that I can personally do for you, please let me know. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to be in your back pocket. Let me know. I, 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 I will. I can. I drive to Dallas. <laughs> Well, we're well, we going to get you on the agenda when the ballroom connection get, comes back up. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that folks understand it's not ballroom explosion and it's not meant to take the place of ballroom explosion. Mm -hmm. It's just another opportunity for us to do something as a community, a ballroom community, and particularly that here in the Southwest. You know, I'm looking at, you know, the folks out of L.A. because they got a nice presence in ballroom in L.A. Ooh, too. Man, L.A.? Uh, yeah. I yeah. love me some LA, brother. I'm yeah. sorry. Woo! I went, out there, I went out there last year to their. their That's right. You and I went out there. Together. Together. Yeah, you and I ran in together out there. That's yeah. how we kind of kind of reconnected. Yeah. And, uh, and so I'm trying to kind of bring them into this fold as well as uh, Denver. I was talking to a gentleman out in Denver, you know, and kind of make it a, a Southwestern flavored uh, annual event that beyond ballroom explosion. To give us another, especially you know, since uh, I believe it was is it Legends that one of the one of the top ballroom events has ceased to be. Uh, oh, Legacy, so the Legacy Ball in Atlanta. Legacy, Legacy, yeah. So I was saying, okay, Legacy, no Legacy, don't worry about it. We could do a ballroom connection in Dallas. So that's what I was trying to do this past year, but of course I got uh, overruled by this this animal called COVID nineteen. That's, all right, that's yeah. all right. When 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 you open the doors, we will come. Yeah, but we're not down. We're, we're not out. We may be down, but we're not out. We're right. just, we, we're just kind of simmering along. You know what I'm saying? That's, I like to leave it like that. We're just simmering right. along. But as soon as good times come back, or at least good dance times, hey, we're going to be back. We're going to be back in the fray, bro. You, gonna be you must know that. Um, you did tell me about that nice dance floor in your backyard, bro. Yeah, I got one. I got one in my backyard. I got one in my house and one in my backyard. I, I uh, put up a pavilion in my backyard. Uh, on one side and uh, you know I laid in some it's not wood like I got in my house but mm -hmm. I got uh, uh, some uh, nice porcelain out there mm -hmm. I could take you out and show it to you but, but, don't worry I'll be there I'm coming you ain't, ain't, ain't yeah. got to sell me I'm so, straight but, but I'm, I'm just saying I, I, I did that because I like to have events at my home mm -hmm. uh, inside my house and outside my house so I, I give people the opportunity to kind of dance all over the place when That's I'm hosting right. events here and so yeah, yeah. So I do have a dance floor out there in my backyard, and you know it's pretty, it's pretty good. I got a couple of bars and you know a country kitchen and all that stuff out there. So I, I got a nice little entertainment world in my backyard to include a pool. Hey brother, you, if you were in in Dallas this summertime, hey, my pool is always there. Dallas Fort Worth. Yeah, I have been invited. Y'all better nice, watch out. I will nice be there. Party. Some nice pool parties back here. I mean, uh, I had Demetrius and Victor James here before with me, and we threw oh, a yeah, nice, yeah, 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 yeah. nice party here at my place. Very nice white party. Excellent, so, excellent, excellent. Yeah, uh, so I'm Rose, doing, yeah. Yo, man, we about to roll up out of here, but I got to do this with you, man. I got to, you know, I, I play a little game with everybody, you know, just, just, just a little mm -hmm. casual, something to break the ice. So, you know, Go ahead, um, I play Go ahead. a little game. We're going to play first time. Okay. Ricky Rose, we're gonna play first time. I'm gonna ask you a question. I just need yeah. you to the first time you go, the first thing to come to your mind, okay? First thing to come to your mind, okay? Uh oh, that could be dangerous, man. I know we both over 30, so ain't no telling what could. 
<laughs> I'm gonna tell you, that could be dangerous. Ricky Rose, check it out, man. What was the first concert you ever went to, man? First concert? Yeah. First one stuck and stepped in my mind was Parliament Funkadelics. Oh. That's when they brought the mothership oh, connection. Not the mothership. They, oh. they actually brought the mothership. Man, so so for my younger listeners, I'm I, I know y'all, y'all think y'all the hotness. <laughs> if you ain't never been to a Parliament Deli show and they brought <laughs> and, the, and the mothership drop down, that's right. George Clinton was in it. They, oh, even, brought, they, they, they even had Sir Nose Devoid of Funk was there. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm showing um, my age. I know people are following me. So who is that? I, I, for real, for real. Yeah. All right. Um, about the, they know about the dog and me talking about the dog and me. Yeah, they know they, they know the music. They, they don't know yeah. they don't know the, the lineage. So guarantee you every cue. I guarantee you every cue know it. They do. They do. They do. They do. Every cue. They got no know choice. It. They ain't got no choice. That's right. Absolutely. All right, Ricky Rose. Right. First car. Uh, first car after high school. First car out of high school was a. It was a green Barracuda, and it, some call, people call them Cudas. C U D A. Yeah, and that was my first first car I ever had and uh, followed by a GTO. I ain't, mad you, man. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. People don't know about GTO. First girl you ever kissed in high school? First girl I ever kissed in high school. Oh, her name was Mary Anderson. Mary Eric? Anderson. Yeah. Is she in the DFW area? She was, yeah, she was definitely, she was in Fort Worth. She was in Fort Worth, and I was in Fort Worth. And yeah, the ninth grade, yeah. First, Mary first Anderson grade. in Fort Worth area. If you're listening now, Ricky remembers. Yeah, hey, brother, Mary Anderson is married, man. Don't be getting me in trouble. Oh, uh, Mary Anderson and, and, and your husband, my bad. Y'all can, <laughs> can go watch Game of Thrones or something, my bad, my bad. <laughs> yeah, but that was, that's, you asked me a question, so that's who it was. Oh, we're Mary good, we're good, man, we're good. Um, who was the first teacher to make a positive impression in your life? Um, I'm, this one teacher name always steps out in my mind is Miss Hill. Mm -hmm. And I think I was in the second grade. And, you know, so she, she for some reason, over all the other teachers, other than Miss Bell, who used to whoop my butt all the time, because, you know, I used to be a little mischievous in music, you know. And uh, Miss Bell was the music teacher. So between Miss Hill and Miss Bell, those are the two I remember from elementary school. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yo, brother, man, we're about to roll up out of here. Um, thank you for your time this evening. I got to drop the one last question on you, if I may. This okay. is the insomnia question. Um, okay. Ricky Rose, what keeps you up at night, man? You know, it's not very many things that keep me up at night, my brother. I, you know, I. I kind of have this way of when I lay down, I kind of put all that other stuff off to the side and, and uh, you know, and I sleep. But, you know, it, it's in it, when I'm doing event hosting time, it's, it's how, do my, how do I make my events more attractive, more successful, more well-known, more, you know, I, I, I aspire to have the best of the best. And I let that be, I, I, I pick no bones about it. I let everybody know that. Hey, look, if you want the best of the best, then you come to my event. And if it ain't the best of the best, I'll give you money back. Because I know I go all the way out to give them the best in entertainment, the best in, in value, the best in ambience. You know, because I like, I like to say, when you come to a Rick Rose event, a DFW live event, then you're not coming to just a dance event. You're coming to an experience. Okay, an experience. So that, but, is, that is a really great concept, um, and I and I and I, and I know that tends to get lost in the in translation because lots of folks want to host an event and what have you. But right. a lot of people get caught up in the cookie cutter mold of how to host right. an event, and right. so some of the events are damn near carbon copies of, of, of the other event that you just went to a couple of weeks ago or what have right. you. I, I yeah. feel you on the experience component um, so, with the Platinum yeah. Pearls joint that we do. I mean, yeah. it, it had to be different. It, it, exactly. It, it had to be different. Exactly. You know, I, uh, and I'm not bragging on myself, but I guess I am tooting my own horn a little bit. At least 
you know, I was recognized. We did a thing called the Oscars here last year. Okay. We were, we kind of looked around the city, who's doing what and, and who's doing the best and these different things, best instructor, best male instructor, you know, best promoter, you know, best band. We did a whole lot of best. Yeah. And uh, I came out in the best as far as, as my event hosting and coordination and promotion and those kinds of things. So I guess, you know, I am recognized for those things even though sometimes the numbers at the door don't, don't show. But uh, it's one thing that I, I don't believe in, and that is cutting back and, and giving people the best, the best dance experience. And, you know, it always comes with a lavish buffet, always come with a DJ, a nice guy on camera, and they don't pay nothing. They just there and enjoy it all. And so I try to have a first-class event all the time, every time. Excellent, so, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricky, as soon as, as soon as soon as you know anything about whenever uh, connection is going to come to fruition, please let me I know. Will. I want to make sure I let my I audience know. I want to, I want to get That's all the information. Um, um, any any um, links that we need to get up, I want to make sure folks know about it. Ladies and gentlemen, a great brother in the urban dance community, my brother Rick Rose. Thank you for the opportunity, my brother. Oh, man. Thank you very much. And we will see each other on the dance floor. Hey man, happy new year to you. Happy new year to you, buddy. Bye bye. DFW, man. Appreciate you for, for sharing your time with me, man. All of your insight, your information, man. Outstanding, brother. Even better dancer. Iron Sharper and Iron, baby. Game recognized game. Outstanding, bro. I love I love meeting you, man. Look forward to seeing you back on the dance floor again. Um, soon. Soon, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Insomnia 2.0. We're about to get out of here in a little bit. I'm going to let you listen to a little bit more of some of these, and we're going to roll up out of here, okay? Go and get some more of this Bonnie James, baby. Get some more of this Bonnie James. We call this one so beautiful.
backing up on, on keyboards and the one and only Nadia Washington they call that one feels so good lifted I'm about to get up out of here y'all it's too early in the morning I think I, I, I swear the sun coming up I feel like Bobby Womack sneaking in the back door you know when I'm coming out everybody else is you know when I'm coming in everybody else coming out that kind of that kind of morning is thank you guys for joining me I've had a ball with you I'm gonna leave you with a, a, a inspirational piece this morning something um, you know, wherever you are, whatever was going on in your world, um, politics to the side, you know, whatever else is stressing us out to the point where, you know, we need to be up at wee dark hours in the morning listening to music together. We probably need to go see somebody too. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking like maybe this ain't good either. But um, I'm going to play this next track for you guys. Really nice inspirational cut by Take Six. Um, Thank you so very much for hanging out with me, for joining me here in, in, uh, with the, for Insomnia 2.0. Um, again, thank you to my guest this evening, the one and only Ricky Rose. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, please continue to be safe. Continue to wear your mask. We're almost through this. We're going to get through this together. I promise you I got your back. Thank you again for, for all your support and love. I look forward to see, seeing you again soon here on Insomnia 2.0. <laughs>
Que não é 